Good morning, my name is Sydney Brown, and this is my presentation on the competitive nature of sports. Sports come in all different forms, whether that be recreational, intramural, high school, collegiate, or any others. Kids, teens, and adults all over the world participate in sports every day. Physical activity is even a requirement at some public schools. While the benefits of sports are always being discussed, there is never really any discussion about the negative side that goes along with participating in sports at a higher level. Furthermore, to what extent does the competitive nature of sports affect both male and female student athletes? The competitive nature of sports affects high school student athletes' mental health by the stress of trying to balance school and sports. In a 2014 survey, 20% of high, 27 percent of high school students claimed to experience serious stress during school. 23 percent said the stress even led to skipping meals, and 36 percent said um, they experienced severe fatigue, which is a sign of depression. To elaborate, this data shows that an extremely high amount of students are experiencing stress during school, and it is even leading to more harmful situations. For student athletes, just stress is only heightened. Not only are athletes expected to be perfect in their sport, but also perfect within school. And this intense workload can definitely drive a student athlete to their breaking point. There's healthy competition, but competition can also become unhealthy if too much pressure is put on an athlete. It says this relentless competition and training causes excessive stress-related injuries to soft tissue and bones. Moreover, there, there is a lot of pressure to perform, which makes athletes want to push through the pain. No pain, no gain, right? This can lead to many injuries because it is important to listen to your body when it is hurting. When you're, when you're in pain, your body is trying to tell you something. So it is important for athletes to understand how to determine when the pain that they are feeling may not be normal. It is important to be able to have open and honest conversations on mental health between parents, athletes, and coaches. But with the negative stigma around mental health, the sports industry makes it um, makes the conversation about it very difficult. It says, however, playing sports does not make athletes immune to mental health challenges. With the pressure to perform in the game as well as in the rest of their public lives, being an athlete can be incredibly challenging for a person's mental health. To explain, people rarely talk about athletes struggling with mental health. Athletes may even feel ashamed for needing help because it is not talked about, nor is it seen as normal. This mindset can be very toxic, and the toxic culture that has been um, created now has athletes afraid to be perceived as weak for struggling with mental health issues. The competitive nature of sports um, affects high school student athletes' mental health due to physical and mental burnout. It says, burnout, also called overreaching, is fairly common among teen athletes who play two or more sports, and it can have a negative impact on other activities. Furthermore, many athletes like to participate in multiple sports, which can lead to burnout because of the overexertion of one's body. Um, the stress of high school sports comes with wanting to compete collegiately, and by athletes competing in multiple sports, they may think that they are bettering their chances to compete collegiately. Some may say physical activity is good for teens because of the release of chemicals like endorphins. Of course, physical activity is great for teens. It can be an outlet for high schoolers to express themselves and meet new people. It is also great for their health if done the right way. But that does not take away from the fact that sports can have a negative side. There cannot be a limit to the resources that we provide um, our high school athletes. It says, but the world of competitive sports also has a negative side. If not monitored, Competitive sports can harm athletes physiologically, socially, and physically. Moreover, if athletes are under too much pressure, it can lead to them str struggling not only physically, but also psychologically. All the benefits of sports can become harmful if athletes, coaches, and parents are not properly informed. In conclusion, sports need to be taken way more seriously in the way that we are preparing athletes for the future. The first step is changing the stigma around mental health in the sports industry. There also needs to be more education around topics such as physical and mental burnout and the pressures that sports can have on athletes. Thank you. Are there any questions? Yeah, I do have two questions for you. The first okay. question, sorry, the papers are stuck together. First question, um, how did your research question evolve as you moved through the process? So 
So research question evolved from, at first I was just going to focus on either doing female or male athletes. So I was gonna focus on just one gender. But as I started doing more research, I found that I couldn't really separate it. Like it, it's like, um, it affects both of them, like in kind of the same way. Like there's a lot of similarities between it. So it went from just doing one gender to doing both, which I feel like made my overall topic better because it can relate to more people. Okay. And what advice would you have for um, researchers in the future that would consider this topic? So some advice that I would have for researchers in the future is to maybe focus on like all levels of sports as well instead of maybe instead of just high school, maybe focus on high school, college, like collegiate and professional because when I was doing my research there was like a lot of information on college sports and professional sports and it was harder to find that um to find that research target research targeted to high school students so that's definitely the advice I would give